have a game with happy and sad music. When you hear the happy music, play your rhythm sticks or clap just as you did before. Like this. What's good, YouTube? It is your boy, Sven D, bringing you Minute to Win It. This is not going to be a series. This is something that I'm just doing for the Call of Duty Black Ops Annihilation Map Pack DLC. So I'm going to take one minute to discuss the Zombies Map in each of the four multiplayer maps. So i got to talk really, really fast. And if you don't understand me, I sincerely apologize. All right, get started. Shangri-La, love the map. Shriekers, nuts. Nazi or Napalm Zombies, annoying as hell really crazy shoot him with a baby gun easy to kill that way other than that I hate getting killed by them the girl zombies that look like Buffy the Vampire Slayer are on some drugs love the baby gun love the spike moors overall great map I definitely would give it an A plus it might be my second favorite map behind Verruk I really like how it has that close quarter fast paced feel to it you see me hit the good luck gong right there there's a lot of really crazy crazy stuff and I look forward to doing the easter egg and bringing that to you guys but anyways multiplayer maps silo starting out this is definitely my least favorite map of the four let me tell you why very very campy and black ops as a game is very very campy but i think that this map takes it to a whole nother level as you see there you got a guy with ghosts sitting on top of that thing it's like literally every time i played this map it was nothing but people with ghosts and silenced weapons this was the second time i had played it and you can see i'm even using a silenced weapon but i did not resort to using ghosts because i'm a boss i like to rush i don't need ghosts especially if i'm not host Alright, I'm not going to try to rap here. We know where that's going to go, and it's just not going to be that pretty. But anyway, Silo, overall, it's not a bad map. I think it would be a great search and destroy map, a great HQ Pro map. Domination, not bad, but with the vast size of it, it makes it a little difficult to be able to cover the entire map in a decent amount of time. But anyways, that's Silo. Least favorite map, not bad, though. Hangar 18. This would be my third favorite out of the four multiplayer maps. It wasn't bad. You know, I got a really bland feeling from it. And it's the same thing as same thing as Silo in a way because there's going to be a lot of spots where people just absolutely do not move from. One of them being this blackbird that I am on top on on top of at the very moment. Um, you know, I really think that this map has the best vantage points and best lines of sight, however, because it seems you can almost cover the entire map from a second story vantage point, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, I would definitely say out of the four multiplayer maps, this was the most balanced and the best designed map of them all. Favorite? No. But best designed and most balanced? Yes. Bam. Next one. Now the next one we're going to be going over is Drive-In. This is my second favorite map out of the four multiplayer maps. Now, a lot of people said that it reminded them of Nuketown. Definitely not. Nuketown, nothing like it. You know, this map is definitely bigger than Nuketown. The one thing I liked is for the people that love to camp in this map, there is an alternate direction to get into every building. There are two alternative directions to get into every building for the most part, which is something I really like. So if somebody's sitting there, they can't just post up in a room and sit in a corner with a claymore at the door. There's two ways up. You only get one claymore. Bada bing, bada boom. Good luck next time. But overall, I really like the flow of the map. They have really good flanking points on both sides, left and the right. Yeah, of course, both sides would be the left and the right. But anyways, just forget I even said that. Um, overall, pretty good map. Second favorite one. Liked how it was very, it was definitely the best map for a rusher, which is what I am. Loved it. Last one. Last for, wait, la, 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 la. saving the best for last kind of got caught up in my tongue right there saving the best for last hazard my favorite map off of call of duty world at war was cliffside obviously seeing that this is the remake i'm gonna like it this might be my favorite multiplayer map out of every one talk about vantage points and lines of sight this map is definitely incredible for those however if you're a sniper and you think i'm gonna let you sit at one end of the map and snipe me from the other not gonna happen 
just not gonna happen that's why they made this wonderful thing called smoke grenades and it does have great flank points around the left and the right which is something that I really enjoyed as well so there's th pretty much three different routes you can take to get to one end or the other but anyways guys this is minute to win it annihilation breakdown until next time it's your boy Smendy and I'm out